joining us on the occasion of Captain Donald Comer's, Comer's retirement from the United States Navy. In just a few minutes, Captain Comer will be arriving and we will render honors to the official party. The ceremony will commence with the playing of the national anthem, followed by, the, by an invocation offered by Commander Peg Steffen. <coughs> Navy Operational Support Center, San Jose, arriving. Captain, United States Navy, arriving. give them the zest and energy to succeed even as we celebrate their success through this ceremony today. Lord of the seasons of life, we come here today to honor an individual who will soon hang up his uniform to begin another of life's seasons. His departure makes us reflective and grateful. We are grateful for fellow sailors who have been our teachers and our students, for those who have encouraged and sustained us in good times and bad. We are grateful for having work to do, energy and skill to do it, and the high calling of a great nation to serve the cause of peace through strength and preparation. We are grateful for your presence, Father. Grace our tables today with the warm conversation of friendship and honest reflection on careers of service. May we continue to uphold the highest traditions of our service. We pray the Lord may be with Captain Calmer and his family. Grant him Godspeed, fair winds, and following seas. In your holy name. Captain Kelmer's wife, Beth Gully, will now be escorted to the podium. Commander Molinari will now present Captain Kelmer's wife with a certificate of appreciation. The certificate reads as follows. To all who shall see these presents, greetings to Elizabeth Gully. By the authority vested in me, it is my pleasure to express the grateful appreciation of the United States Navy to you for your unselfish, patriotic, and devoted service during your husband's military career. Your unfailing support and understanding helped immeasurably to make possible his lasting contribution to the nation. To those who say a single man cannot make a difference, I say wrong. Your husband did. He made our Navy stronger and kept our nation safe. 
With his service to the Navy now complete, he will be able to spend more time with you in the future. The United States Navy is thankful, and I thank you as well. Signed, John J. Molinari, Commanding Officer. Captain Kelmer will now present his wife with flowers. At this time, I would like to ask Captain Kellner's son, John, to step to the podium. Commander Molinari will now present a certificate of appreciation to Captain Kellner's son, John. The certificate reads as follows. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. To John Kelman, by the authority vested in me is my pleasure to express the grateful appreciation of the United States Navy to you for enduring the frequent and long separations from your father as he served his country. These months, indeed years, that he spent away from, from you constitute a clear and normal demonstration of his love for you and his family. You see, he left you in order to ensure that he inherit, you inherited a safer world, a surer peace. To those who shall say a single man cannot make a difference, I say wrong. Your father did. He made our Navy stronger and kept our nation safe. With his service to the Navy now complete, he will be able to spend more time with you in the future. The United States Navy and I both thank you for enduring these separations. Signed, John J. Molinari, Commanding Officer. Commander Molinari will now present Captain Kelmer with his presidential certificate. presidential certificate reads as follows. I extend to you my personal thanks and sincere appreciation of our nation for your honorable service. You helped to maintain the security of the United States of America with a devotion to duty that is in keeping with the proud tradition of our armed forces. I honor your service and respect the commitment and loyalty you displayed over the years. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. Signed, Commander-in-Chief Barack H. Obama. Commander Molinari will now present Captain Kelmer with his governor's certificate. The certificate reads as follows. Congratulations on retiring from the United States Navy Reserve after 30 years of honorable service. As a resident of California, your dedication to the United States Armed Service is an inspiration and mark of distinction upon your state and its people. The security of America and the safety of its citizens depend on the willingness of brave people like you who knowingly put their lives on the line in defense of our liberty. Your loyalty to this noble cause has earned you the respect of the people around the world. You can take great pride in a distinguished military career filled with service, duty, and a love for America. I wish you a retirement that allows you to enjoy new opportunities and freedoms that you have selflessly guarded for so many years. Again, congratulations and thank you for your service and sacrifice for our nation. Sincerely, Edmund G. Brown. before you is prepared to present our national ensign to Captain Donald Comer, the United States Navy. The members represent progressions through the ranks. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over great institutions of learning. I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, honor, 
truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I am arrogant. I am proud. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am loved. I am feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Gettysburg, Shiloh, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and in the Persian Gulf. And a score of places long forgotten, but by those who were there with me. I was there. I led my soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines. I followed and watched over them. They loved me. I was in a small hill in Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired, but my soldiers cheered me and I was proud. I have been soiled, torn, trampled on the streets of countries that I have helped set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I have been soiled, torn, and trampled on the streets of my own country. And when it is by those whom I have served with in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, because I am strong. I have slipped the bonds of earth, and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. I have been a silent witness to all of America's finest hours. I have flown over the top of the World Trade Centers, and after September 11, 2001, I have flown over its rubble to remind the evil in our world that my spirit will not be crushed. The American people will not be broken. But my finest hour comes when I am torn in strips to be used as bandages for my wounded comrades in the battlefield. When I fly at half-mast to honor my soldiers, my sailors, my airmen, my marines. And when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the graveside of her fallen son or daughter. We have seen the end of the Cold War and the fall of communism together, you and I. We have seen a resurgence of patriotism and respect for me in America. Even as we speak, I stand guard over America's sons and daughters in Afghanistan. Take me now, guard me, protect me, and always remember you did your part to make it possible for me to be the most recognized symbol in America. Long may I wave, dear God, long may I wave. Captain Donald Kelmer, in honor of your 30 years of loyal and faithful service, in tribute to the American fighting men killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor, the National Ensign is flown daily, 8 a.m. to sunset, from the flagpole mounted on the battleship USS Arizona. The battleship resting in 38 feet of water at the bottom of Pearl Harbor is no longer in commission. It was stricken from the active list in 1942. Special permission was granted by the Secretary of the Navy to fly the United States flag over the ship in memory of the brave men killed during the attack on the morning of December 7, 1941. The United States flag accompanying this certificate was raised and lowered on the same flagpole on 23 March 2012 at 0753 hours. Signed, Rear Admiral, United States Navy, Navy Region, Hawaii.